Accelerating the model inference is a major challenge for developers and one of the most popular tool in the industry for handling this problem is VLLM. VLLM is an open source, highly performant engine for LLM inference, widely adopted across the industry with 18,000 plus GitHub stars and 300 plus contributors worldwide. And the power of VLLM is coming from paged attention that brings a classic idea of paging in an operating system's virtual memory to LLM serving. Without modifying the model, paged attention can batch five times more sequences together, increasing the GPU utilization and thus the throughput from the LLM. So when choosing our LLM inferencing technology stack or selecting a cloud GPU provider, if VLLM is powering the backend, that is a huge relief as far as fast inferencing throughput is concerned. Now let's quickly see how these revolutionary concept of paged attention makes all the difference for super efficient LLM inference. So the original problem was that the performance of language model serving is bottlenecked by memory. In the autoregressive decoding process, all the input tokens to the LLM produce their attention key and value tensors and these tensors are kept in GPU memory to generate text tokens. These cached key and value tensors are often referred to as KV cache. And the growing KV cache demand with increasing sequence length has made LLM inferencing to be a memory bound problem significantly constraining the system throughput. So efficiently managing the KV cache presents a significant challenge. And then to address this problem, the landmark paper on paged attention came along last year. Paged attention accelerates the key value caching for large language model inferencing by partitioning the attention mechanism's key and value matrices into smaller fixed size blocks or pages, allowing the model to selectively load and process only the relevant subsets of those matrices. This reduces memory overhead and computational cost, enabling more efficient scaling of the attention operation across a very large context. And that's exactly one of the major reasons why inferencing with VLLM is so fast. So at point zero, that is at time zero when the uh, transformer architecture is just starting, paged attention allocates a block, block table for the token generation request. And when token generation request comes to an LLM, instead of associating request with a large tensor of KV cache items, with paged attention, each request only has a comparatively small list of block indices, analogous to virtual memory addresses in operating system paging. Those indices point at block stored in the global block table. Just like operating system pages, they can be out of order or placed wherever they can fit. Now, during the attention computation, the paged attention kernel walks the language model's request list of block indices and goes and fetches those blocks from the global block table to compute attention as normal in the correct order. So the important point here is that because the blocks have been decoupled from individual request, they can be shared just like the shared memory example in operating system paging. So if two requests use the same long prefix such as k short examples for multiple parallel translation task, the KV cache blocks for that prefix can be shared by multiple requests simply by placing the index of that block in the appropriate part for each request list of block indices. And beyond paged attention, VLLM is also famous for high throughput, which measures the number of output tokens a server generates per second for all users and queries. So VLLM can achieve up to 3.5 times higher throughput than the previous state-of-the-art uh, TGI, that is Hugging Face Text Generation Inference. And then talking about scalability, a VLLM is designed to be scalable and has been successfully deployed by many players in the industry, including the famous chatbot Arena and Vicuna demo, serving millions of users with high throughput and low latency. And another of VLLM's strength is distributed inference and serving, 
VLLM supports distributed tensor parallel inference with Megatron LM's tensor parallel algorithm and manages the distributed runtime with Ray framework. Uh, and the Ray framework is a unified framework for scaling and accelerating AI and machine learning workloads. And I also quickly wanted to mention about another very useful tool for LLM inferencing called C Translate. This is quite fast as well. But the problem with C Translate is that, that it does not support distributed inference just yet. So while VLLM supports distributed inference, which is something you will absolutely need for larger models. So overall, in my opinion, VLLM might just be the sweet spot for serving very large language models, especially when fast throughput is something that you want to achieve.